I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. There aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedown right away. Bruce Lee ready to battle and take home that elusive UFC goal. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. That is man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that problem. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Real quick leg kick. Digging kick. There's that body shot. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Beautiful kick lands there. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is striking four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Lee. Back and forth we go. Back to the jab now, no good. Hands high, hands high. Just over three minutes to go on that. Nice jab there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Blocks that kick to the body. Missed with that attempt. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's hard to show. Beautiful hands on this plate. Another punch lands. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, he 
lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Under two minutes to go. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Clean with that offer. Lee going for the body. Missed with that kick. Oh, body shot. All right, there it is, yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on his body. Well, you could tell that he had a purpose to come on here, make an investment, and see how it would play out. It seems to be working right now. Big shot to the head. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter, and I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, DC. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Lands a nice leg kick. Yeah. Yeah. So we cross the 32nd mark in our opening round. Nice jab there by Lee. 20 seconds to go in round one. Big shot lands for both guys. 10 seconds now to go in the round. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two is underway. Alright, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, he heard it bad with the jab. Ooh. And he lands in a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with ill intent. Oh, how clean is that jab by Lee? Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. He's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Head kick. Oh, right hand gets up to block it. Hard shots landing on both sides here. All right, so unless my eyes are deceiving me, that is some bruising now on that calf. It only took one, Josh. I mean, one calf kick. It's already starting to bruise. Goes to the switch kick and lands. You got that weapon in your arsenal? Or what? It is a great strike. I've done it a number of times. I actually threw it in both fights against Deep Emil. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Oh. 
work, guys. Come on. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, great block there. Two minutes now to go in round two. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Let's go. Let's get that takedown now. Now a kick to the body. Anybody can make finish his fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. Beautiful right punch follows it up with the left. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Oh, nice inside kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Every time he throws that leg kick, it lands with so much force. Oh, and cut has just opened up on his forehead. We'll keep an eye on it. Circling towards the left now. Right on the ball. Low kick is there. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from doing this kick over and over again. Less than a minute now to go in round two. Man, where were these calf kicks 15 years ago? Another strike targets that area there. I mean, lands, and once again, it hurts him. It, it, it isn't as evident how hurt you are when you're taking these calf kicks. But trust me. It really does take an effect on you. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Nice jab by Lee. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And now some separation. Final seconds here of round two. <laughs> All right, there's the horn, so the round is over, but not before the fighter sustained that cut on his forehead. We'll see if the cut man can close it up and prevent it from becoming an issue here into the latter rounds. All right, so he survives to the stool, but he's going to need a plastic surgeon on Monday. Let us show you some of the strikes that caused that damage above the eye. Just beautiful striking on display. He found the target constantly. He opened up a big cut above the eye, and now he sees that he's got a wounded opponent in front of him. He is going to target that eye even more in this next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, here we go. We'll start another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they both been so evenly matched. You're still right where you are. And he lands that sidekick. Oh, nice counter jab there. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. It's messed up really bad. Just out of range with that strike. Leg kick lands. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Oh, nice. strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Hands up, hands up. 
he gets to the single collar time. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, nice jab, nice stick. Oh, another kick right on the cap. Now, I'd tap out, but I'm not a fighter. What do you do? I mean, there's not much you can do now. You got to just bite down on the mouthpiece and get through it. Because right now, you won't change much. It's already beat up too far. Went for the inside leg kick. Ripped the body there. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Under two minutes now to go in the third round. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Well, that is a shade of magenta on his calf. I'm not sure I've seen before. That bruising's getting out of control. The bruising's getting bad. And it's starting to get to a point where you got to keep an eye on whether or not this guy will be able to finish the fight. Went for the inside leg kick. Straight punch. Does a great job getting out of that clutch position. Straight right is there. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. Well, with that three rounds in the books, we are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, and we'll see who has the other. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the office. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Both fighters exchange in the pocket. <laughs> nice punch to the head. That's a beautiful body kick. Oh, lands another hook. Leg kick now. Uh, 
block that shot there. Nice return kick to the body for the champion. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Lance to the body. Oh, massive knee to the head. Another big body to land. There's that side kick. And back to his feet. Oh, staying busy, fighting off of his back, and he lands. Lee getting worked here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, no denying that he blocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Nice strike. Oh, that'll do it! In the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 34 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. And